Hello Shiny viewers, I am DS, your psychologist and welcome to another episode on Channel 8. One pair of defining characteristics of the ENTJ is that the true blue ENTJ has a tendency to be unconventional and rather daring. So for today, I'm going to do a topic that many other channels do not cover and that is faith. Because the ENTJ and the INTJ are really quite similar when faith is concerned, so we're going to talk about them together in this episode. So let's go. Because the topic of faith can be somewhat sensitive, I am only going to talk about the INTJ and ENTJ's perspective to faith very factually. So number one, INTJs and ENTJs tend not to have a faith early in their life. So if you say that you follow your daddy and mommy when you were about five years old to a place of worship, that is really not a faith yet because the ENTJ and the INTJ will eventually come to their own faith and it's not early in their life not even in their 20s or 30s usually. Many INTJs and ENTJs do not have a faith in their entire life at all. Surprising as it may sound, although many INTJs and ENTJs seem to be very religionless, they are actually quite attracted to the concept of religion because religion really appeals to intuition. So many INTJs and ENTJs are very exploratory when it comes to religion. They may stumble from one faith to another faith and then they try to see how it fits into their scheme of life, how it fits into their worldview. While searching for a faith, INTJs and ENTJs are very alike. They need to find a faith that can appeal to their logic, TE. They must also find a religion that will speak to their heart. So this will appeal to their MI, introverted intuition. So for different individuals, regardless of whether the INTJ or the ENTJ, the search process of a faith can be really active or passive. So if an INTJ or ENTJ is actively searching for a religion, they will go and read widely about it. Otherwise, if they are passive about it, they will just allow the religion to approach them. Curiously, when the INTJ and the ENTJ eventually finds a faith, it tends not to be the one that they started off with. So regardless of whether your first point of contact to faith is through your parents or because of your own research, it is very likely that eventually the eventual subsequent final ultimate faith that the INTJ and ENTJ ends up in is not the first one. There is also a possibility that the ultimate faith is not a mainstream one. So unlike many other people where faith is really fixed, for the INTJ and ENTJ, faith can be really fluid. But once you have finally convicted and devoted yourself to the real eventual final one, then it is very likely that the INTJ or the ENTJ will stick with it, stick with it for the entire life. So are there any differences between the INTJ and the ENTJ when it comes to faith? Yes, the INTJ tends to be more perceptive, while the ENTJ tends to be more dismissive. So for the ENTJ, when considering faith, they might dismiss a particular faith altogether without knowing it too much. They say, no, this is not for me. You're not the one, then why does my soul feel glad? But nonetheless, even though the ENTJ might dismiss a particular faith, knowing that this faith is not going to be their faith, they are still going to be very respectful to all faiths. So from the ENTJ's point of view, everyone is entitled to have their own beliefs. So because of this, the INTJ or the ENTJ is very unlikely to discriminate others based on religion or based on faith. But as an ENTJ, there is a small cluster of people that I might frown upon when it comes to faith. So the first group of these people are people who want to join a particular faith just because it is very trendy. The second group of people are people who actually believe in a particular faith without knowing it too much. So for the ENTJ and INTJ, if we decide to eventually follow a faith, we have internalized, understood the faith, and then we decided to be inside. So I really respect people who also go through the same process even though we may belong to the same faith. But a lot of people are just joining a faith very blindly. The third subgroup of people that the ENTJ might frown upon would be people who used faith as a shield or front. 
So they may say that they are of a particular faith, so they do not do bad things. However, these people are people who really exercise double standards in life. So fellow ENTJs and INTJs, do you agree with the content of this episode? Is it difficult for you to find a faith? Comment below. So at Channel Need, we try to do a lot of episodes that are very different from many other channels because we don't really care. <laughs> so there are a lot of MBTI channels that avoid doing uh, topics such as sex, politics, and religion. This is because this kind of content tends to be controversial and many advertisers will be very hesitant to put an advertisement onto their videos. And hence the income of the YouTuber may be affected. So if you have enjoyed this video, do give us a like to compliment us for our bravery. <laughs> okay, if you are new to our channel, do consider subscribing so that we can bring you more MBTI, ENTJ, INTJ and fun stuff. Okay, I'm going to sign off now and I'll see you in our next episode. Bye-bye.